I think most of you out there will recognize this as my everyday carry, my Smith & Wesson 586L Comp. Now, just the other day, I did a video where I changed out the cylinder release to an extended Hogue cylinder release. And today, I want to change out this rear sight. Now, I changed out the front sight a long time ago to a Tritium XS Big Dot sight. And I want to change out this adjustable rear. I've never found these adjustable rear sights to be good for carry guns. I just think they're too fragile, so I want to get rid of it. And you know, this weekend, I'm going to be going to Seattle, so I want my gun in tip-top condition, because you never know, Seattle's a pretty dangerous place. You never know when you're going to uh, tick off some overly sensitive, vegan, feminist hipster, you know, because you didn't like his freestyle at the Poetry Slam, and he comes at you with the coffee stir out of his soy latte that he has fashioned into a shiv and tries to take you down. So, you know, I want to be ready. So, I'm going to change out that rear sight to something I think is a little bit more suited for a carry gun. And what I'm going to change it out to is this. And I know what you're saying. Wow, that is some professional packing there. That must be some high quality stuff. Uh, well, don't let the uh, glad bags fool you. This is actually a pretty good site. The site is actually from DNL Sports Inc. You know, www.dlsports.com. Dave, well, let's just say L. Uh, this site's you know, I've known about them for a while. First saw them on uh, Mr. Cleaner Nash's video a long time ago, but I've never gotten around to getting any. So I finally contacted him the other day and ordered a pair. They weren't bad. They were like 75 bucks. So I'm going to put them on the gun today. Here is a quick look at the sight before I actually put it on the gun. As you can see, it is a non-adjustable combat style sight with three holes in the top here to be screwed down. So let's get this put on. First thing we're about to do is take the old one off. Now, I know a lot of people are going to see this and go, well, this ain't going to fit because my sight only has one screw here, one screw here. Well, this ain't actually a screw. It's like a little, uh, I don't know, a little thing that lips under a little ledge there and adjusts the tension. Uh, this is an actual screw, but there's actually three holes under these sights. Uh, the Smith & Wesson sights don't always use all three holes, but they're there. While I'm taking these off, I just want to let everybody out there know, don't get any bright ideas about breaking into my house while I'm on vacation because by the time you see this video, I'll already be back. Uh, or I guess maybe I won't be back. Maybe I'll be dead and I'm going to Seattle. Uh, could fall in the ocean and get eaten by a shark. Or the bay and get eaten by a shark. That is one of my greatest fears. I actually worry pretty much every day about getting eaten by a shark. Uh, which I know doesn't make a lot of sense because I don't go in the ocean every day. But like I said, it's one of my fears. And besides, even if I did post this before, I went to Seattle. Uh, I do have a vicious attack animal still at home. And while my sister is watching the house, she did agree to also watch my dog. So she's there too. So I wouldn't try to break in because believe me, you don't want to mess with my sister. Okay, the old one is off. And as you can see, there are the three holes. So let's go ahead and put the new one on. Now it takes a little pressure to push it on because it doesn't have the adjustable rear. It has to actually slide in that notch pretty firmly. Now let's put the screws in it. You can already kind of see here what it's going to look like. I really like this nice blacked out sight. Well, I probably shouldn't say blacked out. Someone's going to think that that's racist and report me for being offensive. And YouTube will yank my video off the air here. You know, you got to watch what you say now because you got to toe that company line or YouTube will take your video off the air because heaven forbid we make people think or actually talk about something that the powers that be don't want us to think about or pay attention to. But uh, I digress. Let's go ahead and get this screwed on. Lord knows I want to be a good boy and not get in trouble with YouTube. I don't know if y'all can see here or not, but the screw is actually a little too long. It's coming through the top plate there. So I'm going to have to file some off. The person who sold me the site, the owner of the company, said you might have to do that because they give you screws that will work with everything up to an end frame. So with a K frame, I might have to scrape a little off the bottom of it. There's actually an L frame. So I'm going to get my file out and do that real quick. All right, that's got them short enough there. And just a little word of warning to people, if you ever have to take these screws to a grinder and you want to hold them with your bare hands, they're going to get very, very hot. You're going to burn your fingers. I've learned that lesson the hard way many, many times. Now, I do have the advantage of, I don't know if you can see the Y-shaped scar on this fingertip here, but it was reattached and doesn't have any feeling anymore. So I can just hold them with that hand and I really don't feel it. But uh, the screws will actually melt into my skin before I notice it getting hot. So don't want to do that. Don't ask me how I know that. But I uh, don't want to do that again. Nothing like picking a melted a screw that's melted into your skin out of your finger. Okay, it's on there. I'm not liking how the screw heads don't line up. Uh, they just won't if you want to get it on there good and tight. So I'm going to find out what size screws these are. Contact the person who makes the site and see if I can get some star head or something like that drive screws for these. So that you won't notice that they're out of alignment. But for now, I can live with that.
So now what I'm going to have to do is go to the range and see if this works. I've got to go sight these in, make sure they are going to work with this fixed front sight, having this fixed rear, because you know, I don't want to have a gun that doesn't shoot straight now, or doesn't, you know, aim straight. I don't shoot straight. There's a, wait, that doesn't sound right. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go take these to the range and we'll see how it works out. Okay, I just got back from the range. I put this new sight on here yesterday, and I'm going to have to say it is right on the money. It is awesome, and it's definitely not fragile. That thing's tough. I'm just tapping it with my thumb here, but that thing is tough. That ain't going anywhere. Uh, this front sight ain't going anywhere. I actually like how it works better now than I did before. The rear sight blade it actually came with has that little white line on it right there. And I had to line that little white line up with the big white dot, kind of like dotting the eye, but actually having them touch. You had to get it centered on the dot. Wasn't the easiest thing to do. With this sight, I don't know how well you can see there, I can actually get the entire white dot right perfectly in the slot. I don't have to worry about lining up little lines. Once I see the whole white dot there, pretty much the whole thing, I know I'm on target. So I'm going to have to say, these are awesome. Once again, these are from DNL Sports Inc. DNLSports.com. If you want a pair of these, go over and order one. They're $75. It was well worth 75 bucks. Be aware that if you have a K or an L frame, you are going to have to sand those screws down and they're probably not going to line up. So you might want to look into getting some different screws for the top if you're as crazy as I am. If you're not as crazy as I am, you'll be happy with these. Just sand them down. Don't burn your fingers. And in the end, I think you've got a sight on your gun right here that is far better for concealed carry than those fragile adjustable sights. I want to do a quick follow up here. As you know, I wasn't too happy with the little slot head screws here because I couldn't get them all perfectly aligned straight. So I thought I would call DNL Sports and say, hey, do you know what size screws these are so I can get replacements? And when I did, he said, you know, I've got some you'd probably like better. Let me go ahead and send those to you. And he did tell me the size the screws were also in case I wanted to buy some of my own, but he sent me some of these. He sent me a little pack of hex head screws and that will definitely solve the problem. So then we'll get these ready and install these. Now, since all the screws will fit an in frame also, as well as the L frame that I'm putting them on, I do have to shorten them just a little bit before I install them. As you can tell here by looking at the screw I already shortened, this one here, this one's gotta come down just a little bit. Now, if you don't have a grinder at home, here's a way you can do this pretty easily. Or even if you do have a grinder, this is a way you can do it. Just take a couple popsicle sticks or any other piece of wood, drill a hole through it, stick the screw to it to the point where it needs to be shortened to, and then just take a file and just rub back and forth. And once you get one of them done, go ahead and test it for depth here. What you want to make sure of is that once it's fully in, nothing is coming out the bottom here that might interfere with the cylinder. And that is perfect. Now that I have one screw in to hold the sight in place, I'll just take out the other two screws, shorten the other two new screws, and put them in place. Okay, I've got them all installed here. I took out all the old screws, shortened the new screws, installed the new screws, and it looks much better. My little wooden tool here made that a whole lot easier, but that's still a lot of screw work, uh, especially for somebody my age. And unfortunately with a gun, you can't just spit on its back strap and tell it you're done. You actually got to put in the work. But I think you'll agree that it was worth it. It looks much better. And as for the sight itself, I'm going to have to say, if you carry a revolver, this D&L fixed rear combat sight just might be the perfect rear sight for your carry revolver.